Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Jasmine Jackson. She was one of the first ones to send me this story, and once again, it's coming from Pitiful Ass, Pennsylvania. So what's going on now in Pitiful, Pennsylvania, you ask? What's going on is that we have a 29-year-old mother of two. Her name was Janice Jackson, and basically she was at a bar with some friends having a good time, and as she was getting ready to leave that bar, a 41-year-old man named Charles McKinney came up trying to holler at her. So he was trying to talk to her and get her phone number, and Janice, you know, she basically turned him down. She was like, you know, no, I'm good, whatever. You know, she just didn't want to give him her phone number and instead of him taking the rejection and going on with the rest of his life he decides to pull out a gun and kill this woman this entire situation is so disturbing i want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary it's on a shocking story we've been covering today police just released a photo of the man they say shot a woman dead in homewood last night because she refused his advances at a bar this is charles mckinney police say he killed janice jackson talton now, this happened outside Cliff's Bar on North Lang Avenue. Responding officers stopped McKinney's car as he was leaving the scene. When they got to the window, dispatch radioed in that they found a body. Upon hearing that information, the driver took off and a police pursuit uh, began. Now, police fired shots during the chase, hitting McKinney. He was taken to the hospital understand who the hell's raising some of these men out here. It's so sad that you have some men out here who have no emotional self-control and they suffer from a sense of entitlement. You know, I don't understand how this man can feel like just because a woman wouldn't give him his phone number or wouldn't really holler at him, that he thinks that the correct response is to pull out a gun and kill her. And it's sad because this is not the first story. This has happened before. But a 38 year old man inside who her family says they've never seen before began harassing Spears. He asked her, like, hey, you know, what's your name and what's your number? And she, I'm sorry, I have a man. I, you know, I can't talk to you. But her family says the harassment continued until 2 a.m. When on their way out, they say the man grabbed and hit Spears, her fiance confronting him, a fight breaking out when suddenly the man began shooting. He shot her one time. And she tried to run, and he shot her two more times in her head. Firing rounds through the crowd, injuring Spears' fiance, four other family members, and a woman outside sent to the hospital. But for the young mother of three, known as unique, it was too late. You killed her because she didn't want to talk to you. That's... That's just too much. You know, I just think this entire situation is just insane. And I, for one, am glad that the police ended up shooting his ass. But lucky for him, he didn't die. You know, I just find this whole situation disgusting. His ass needs to be locked up and thrown under the jail. It makes no sense. If a woman does not want to give you her phone number, if she does not want to holler at you, if you make her uncomfortable, then you need to just live with that. It is not your obligation to go above and beyond to force her to give you your phone number, to force her to try and holler at you. And if all else fails, you pull out a gun and you attack her and you hurt her and this is why it's to the point now where a lot of women have to be really really careful because some of these guys are crazy as hell you know you'll have some guys where they'll ask you for your phone number and you can't even give them a fake number no more they'll sit there and call the number in front of you you know it's just it's just crazy how some of these guys act out here it's really sad this 41 year old man would get this upset this disgruntled that he would literally throw the rest of his life away over not getting a female's phone number you know i just find the whole situation just re damn ridiculous so anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popped and go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation that's once again coming from pitiful ass Pennsylvania. Ladies, have you ever been in a situation like this? Maybe not shot and hurt, but where a guy has gotten mad at you because you didn't give him their phone number or you weren't really feeling them or, you know, maybe you had a boyfriend at the time or a fiance and they just couldn't take no for an answer. So what did you do in that situation? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my video. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.